So I was looking at my old videos and I noticed that I swear quite a lot and I probably should tone it down a bit but there is absolutely no fucking chance of that happening. Tank fly, boss walk, jam, nitty gritty. You're listening to the boy from the big bad city. This is jam, jam hot. Jam, this is jam, jam hot. Seriously, don't ask. But it's not the only change to my backroom staff during the summer. I have also signed three coaches who have an abundance of international experience. First of all, we have Darren or Jock Carrigan, who seems to have a weird obsession with Calvin Miller. Our second appointment is a Irish coach who thinks he's Italian and has an uncanny resemblance to Danny Judas, David Niloni. And our last appointment is a goalkeeping coach from Holland, Dirk de Brugge, who is a journalist, so are you doubting him? See, unless you're from the group from where these people made their name, then you're not really going to get anything I've just said, so... Join the FM Society today on Facebook and inflate my ego even more by liking all my shit puns and shit posts that I put in the group. I would just like to send my best wishes to Ings. I would like to put everything that's happened between us aside and just say, you know, I apologise that I dropped the weights on you. You know, you should have been holding it a bit better and uh, hopefully you'll make a speedy recovery and hopefully I can sell you in the summer. I sort of knew the board were going to do that. I meant the amount of money that I spent on cocaine and... and I wasn't meant to say that, was I? It seems like the jokes are just writing themselves at the moment. So we face Everton at home to start off the episode. Angelo Henriquez also makes his debut for us. Uh, all my strikers are out injured or unfit, so I have to play him. Henriquez! He scores on his debut and what is it with players scoring on their debuts for me? Well, this is uncharted territory. We're winning again at half-time. Unbelievable. You become a little overconfident and then that happens. Every time. Every time. Can someone call up the Guinness World Book of Records and see if this actually stands as a record? You know, sending brothers on at the same time in a football match. Okay, the game's still in the balance. There's 10 minutes left. We should actually push on for this win now. Wait, what? What are you doing? You've just let him walk into the box and score. You've just basically opened the door to Kevin around and said, oh, you want to come in for some tea and crumpets? Oh, let him sit down on your fancy sofa and then do anal to your wife in the bedroom while you're there masturbating in the chair. I have no idea what I've just said, actually. Oh, great. And he scores again, you fucking cunt. 4-1. 4-1. 4-1. Fucking hell. Well, after that bullshit, at least I finally got some good news. Sordolino is now back in training. And from one easy game to another one, we have Spurs away. And I think they're one of the teams that we have yet to beat. So this is going to be interesting. In order to counter Tottenham's threat, I've decided to play a defensive midfielder instead of an attacking midfielder. So that might actually make a difference whether we lose 4-0 or 3-0. It's a bold strategy, Cotton. Let's see if it pays off for him. Oh yeah, you know, it's definitely made a difference. Wait, wait, it's 3-0? Well, what happened to the second goal? What, the recording software failed again, Chris? We've conceded four again! I'm now actually wondering what the point of this series actually is. Do I really need to play another game? You know, I might as well play one more game because I might as well get all the losses out there before uh, I play another episode so then I can start winning all my games again. So I'm playing a 4-5-1 this time and I'm playing a sort of second string team. It's because I don't really care about the Capital One Cup. It's a Mickey Mouse Cup unless I win it. Yeah, I'm already out of this competition. Oh, brilliant. Uh, it's 2-0 now. And that was it. So I've lost again this episode. Fantastic. When on earth am I actually going to win again at this rate? I know.